I've discovered that. Oh, you're very reading your book. <laughs> you know, I, um, I know people who um, I was at school with who are still with the, 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 the boy they met when they were 15. Yeah. They haven't lived in many houses, they've had maybe one or two main jobs, they got married, had children and so on. And then when I think about my life, mm -hmm. it's the opposite of that, you know. Um, for many years I had a really precarious existence, I didn't earn much money, I didn't know where my money was going to come from, from one, from the start of the year to the end. Um, I, I didn't have my own property, I was in lots of different relationships. So, you know, in every way possible, my life was unconventional. Mm. Um, but I see that as a positive thing. I see that as part of the reason that I was able to write, for example, Go Woman Other. Yeah, I, and you see, really can see that influence of your own life, 20s and 30s, particularly rubbing off on the characters that you created in that novel. Yeah. So it is a reflection. I, I, I mean, my, my thought on reading the book was how rich your life have been, not, not necessarily with that challenges, but the richness of a life well lived and experiences well travelled. Is that a fair, do, do, would you reflect that? Yeah, that yeah I, think it, I think I've had a very rich life. Um, I, <clears throat> well, I'm 63 now. Um, the book was published last year. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're living in a gerontophobic society, an ageist mm. society, where at every stage we're supposed to fear mm. getting older. You know, I know 25-year-olds who are panicking, mm. right? Because they're 25, and they haven't done whatever it is they think they're supposed to have done yeah. at that age. And then as we get older, we're just supposed to disappear quietly. And, and a lot of people do disappear quietly, and we're very youth-obsessed. You know, we like people with great collagen, and... Um, <laughs> who haven't had faces that have been lived in. Mm. Um, and we're a very visual, increasingly visual culture in this society, especially the social media. And so it's very easy to completely overlook people as they age. Mm. Um, and that, that has always been the case in this society. I don't think it's the case in every society where people are given respect as they age. And so one of the reasons I talk about my age, and I started to talk about it when I talked about Girl and Another, yeah. and I talk about it in this book, is because I want people to know that just because you reach a certain age doesn't mean to say it's the end of your life. And I do um, I have, to, I have encountered students who write some very geriatric character who can barely walk. Yeah. And then I say, how old is, how old is that character? And they'll say, oh, 45. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're 19, and for them, yeah. 45, that's it. You're one foot away from the grave, from the grave. And so, I think it's really important to own our age and just to live life as, as best we can, whatever age and stage we're at. 